Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Go ahead and like the page and share it with other people, because today we're going to talk about thyroid. Thyroid hormone synthesis and Hashimoto's disease, right? The autoimmune version. So let's look at it. Your brain creates TSH, or thyroid stimulating hormone, which is tested on blood. Your thyroid produces uh, T3 and T4. If you look at the production, T3, which is considered quote unquote active hormone, is only 10%. Your inactive T4 is 90%, okay? Your T4 needs to be converted to the active form of T3. So the way it occurs is, it's converted by an enzyme called 5-deionase. This enzyme will convert your inactive T4 to T3. Then your T3 will go and become free T3 where it will bind to a receptor site and will have a proteomic response at that receptor site for metabolic activity. So where can it go wrong? So when we have this cascade of hormones going down to the receptor site, now every cell in the body has a receptor uh, for thyroid hormone, right? So the receptor site is very important for receiving the hormones and having an actual metabolic uh, physiological uh, component to it. So I wrote over here, number one, an autoimmune response to TPO and TG, TG antibody, right? Thyroid peroxidase and thyroid globulin. So this right here will impact the thyroid gland. It's an immune response, right, to the thyroid gland. Then your second response is an inflammatory response that will impact this right in here, this enzyme. Therefore, you cannot convert or you will um, not efficiently convert T4 to T3 because of the inflammatory load of the autoimmune disease itself or if you have a pathogen, you have a virus, or you have anything that can create some infl inflammation in our system, then it can impact this 5 deionase enzyme and you will have a low T3 as a result, okay? Now, as it goes down to the receptor site, then you can have an Im impaired response at the receptor site. So when you look at it, when you, when you look at hypothyroid, it's not just a thyroid problem. It's an immune problem, right? It's an inflammatory problem. It's a receptor site problem. It's a dietary protein problem. It's a pathogen problem. It's a multi-system problem. So when you look at this, just simplistically, the autoimmune disease hits the thyroid gland, inflammatory load hits the enzyme that converts your inactive hormone to your active hormone, and then it also impacts the thyroid receptor site for that proteomic response, okay? So it's very important to understand this cascade. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week. Have an awesome day.